Hi, and welcome to everyone. Today we will have a look at how to create an IMF package from a master file for Netflix delivery. Let's start by creating our project. Once in the library, we will open Explorer window. Then we can drag and drop our media into the library. We can also have access to our library from the timeline. The next step is to bring the media into the timeline. For the video track, we will use a broadcast UHD master encoded as ProRes. Here are our 5.1 and stereo mixes. One thing to notice here is that we can have multiple audio sound fields in the timeline. Therefore, we will add a second sound field for stereo mix. By opening the audio scopes, we can check our sound fields. Let's customize the workspace so we can make more room for the other interface elements. MIST allows us to switch between sound fields during playback, which is very handy. Let's switch to the 5.1 and check the audio. We can also display the jellyfish, then we can check the surround. And then let's do the same for the stereo mix. The next step is to prepare the export of the IMF package. First, we give our timeline a name. Then we simply select the Netflix template. And we can check that the Netflix specifications are correctly set up for us. As you can see, the sound file configuration is automatically recovered from the timeline. We can change our names. In the worst case, we can always reroute the channels manually and even the hierarchy or the order. Let's type in some more information, like the name of the composition playlist. As you can see on the left side, we have a sort of dashboard that reflects all the changes we make in the parameters. Here we can type in more metadata for our package. Then we select the folder for the output. Here we can use the Create Archive option to instruct MIST to create a zip archive after the encoding is done. One last check before we start encoding. When the essence elements encoding is finished, the hash value is calculated for every one of them. Then the next step is obviously the archiving of the elements encoded. Now let's do a quick check of the package and the archive that MIST has created. Once the package is created, we can open it. In this panel we can check the metadata for the various elements of the package. As you can see, we have our first 5.1 sound field correctly tagged with French language. And so is the second stereo sound field. In this tab, we will start a validation process of the package we have created previously. When we created the IMF package, we didn't request MIST to sign the various XML files. The 40 failed messages are quite normal here. Since we have created the package for Netflix, only the application to extended tests will pass. The others will fail, which is normal. The log tab shows you the detailed steps of the validation process. MIST will create automatically a timeline for every composition playlist in the package. To perform a quality control, we can use different measurement tools here, like bitrate measurement, audio loudness measurement, audio phase, and many more. 
Thank you for your attention and see you very soon.